I am ready to work with Biafra agitators, Article Abubakar promise, if elected as the next president of Nigeria. Hmm. They don't start to. Politicians, they are chameleons. Whenever they want to get something, they can go to any length. They can promise for Africa. They will do this, they will do that. Hmm. But when they, once they don't get with it, then they find. You see them no more. All the promises they have been promising us since. What did they not do? Nothing they don't feel do for us. Not be today with the hear promise. Not be today. Now, coming back to the promises making, I don't really understand uh, whether it's asking the Biafra agitators to drop their agitations and join him, you know, in the presidential race or whatever to support him. I don't understand why he said this, that he's ready to work with them if elected as the next president of Nigeria. Because the whole scenario here uh, is pointing uh, to work with me. That is, vote for me. When I am there, I will not listen to you. See, there is one thing I tell people. You don't wait till when you needed somebody, you understand, before you do something. Mm -mm. That does not make you, you know, a leader. A true leader. You not be say you they find for position at that time you will come begin the talk. Since the issue of agitations in the southeast, the issue of Nigerian army and all the while I went the southeast, I never hear this man talk. Oh. He has not said anything about it. Right now, the IPOB leader Mazin Namdekanu is in Nigerian DSS cross study. He had never said anything like that. Say, Nigerian government, okay, dialogue with these people or do this. At least if we still talk, dialogue with these people or listen to their plight. Just, just sit in a round table, you know, table and, and listen to them. Not be this force, one that they use, go take set to the issue. I've never one day, I am surprised to see that he's making this statement right now because he's pursuing his uh, own ambition. You see, you see, human being for you, whenever they need something from you, they want to, you know, promise this, talk this and this and all that because they needed something from you. And once they get it, you see them no more. It's just like a man who is wearing a woman, you know. Once, whatever, you know, you don't rub it that. You get that's just how politicians are. These IPOP members you are asking, you know, that uh, that you are promising right now that you will work with them if eventually you become the Nigerian president, which we are not uh, sure because it's only God that can, you know, determine that. The same people, their people are glamouring for presidency. They not even send their people. They say they don't want. What they are asking for is a referendum. Let the government of uh, Nigeria conduct that. Let them know what, where they belong to. That is what IPOP members are asking for. So even their own people, they are not in support of their presidential ambitions and all that. So telling an Igbo man to you know, work with you and abandon his brother or abandon their project, which is a Biafran uh, nation. Ego they difficult, understand? Ego just they dif difficult too much. Ego just they difficult. Like what I always say about a uh, Yemi Rusibanjo. Today, he wants people to support him. He wants he wants to become the next president of the country. When an uh, Sunday Bo Yoruba agitator was fighting. Uh, was fighting for uh, what are they called? Fulani herdsmen. We are fighting for those Fulani, Fulani herdsmen. We are killing people in their region to live. This man had never one day said anything. When these herdsmen were killing people, they are still killing them. They are standing in the southwest. In fact, they are killing in everywhere. You know, this man had never one day said anything against that. Why are you people doing this? No, he had never one day condemned the, their art. 
because he feels that he don't want to say anything that we, you know, uh, make his principal to be angry and all that. Today, you want people to listen to you. You want to convince people that you will do better. But you were there. You were there, right there, that you have every opportunity to contribute, to do something. No, you, 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 you kept quiet. You know when Nigerians will say he's being intimidated in that office, this and this and that, they they are benching him in one corner and all that. And they tell them, say, I not believe that one. You see this action, you see people who see truth, they begin to talk him. You don't know when you start saying it. That is the gospel truth. You don't even care what is going to happen if you say it. Because that is who you are. You cannot change your person for any bread, anybody. So, that is who Yemi Osibranjo is. If by tomorrow he becomes the Nigeria, the president of Nigeria, waiting with the experience today, you go see the apple. After I don't talk and say he go continue from where you know his uh, principal stop and all that. You see, in Nigerians, everybody. If we really want to get out from this situation we are today, we should be ready to make sacrifice. That is it. Because me, I don't tire. If you don't tire like me, be ready to make sacrifice. Enough of all this money back. After sharing dollars to people to vote you in, buying yourself votes, then you want people to support you. When you know genuinely that you cannot get to that place, but you pushed yourself to be there because you feel that you have the hard currency, you can roll it anyhow. These people are just coming for their selfish ambitions. They don't care about Nigerians. They have been ruling us all this while. Waiting, we don't gain nothing. You understand? So it's high time we go shine our eyes. No say, this one now wait till we want, and this one not be wait till we want. Okay, I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much once again. May God bless you all. Bye for now.